volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read and recorded by Quatran in Quebec City on April 28, 2006. Fables for the Frivolous by Guy Wetmore Carroll The Persevering Tortoise and the Pretentious Hare Once a turtle, finding plenty in seclusion to bewitch, lived a dolce far niente kind of life within a ditch. Rivers had no charm for him, as he told his wife and daughter, though my friends are in the swim, mud is thicker far than water. One fine day, as was his habit, he was dozing in the sun when a young and flippant rabbit happened by his ditch to run. Come and race me, he exclaimed. Fat inhabitant of puddles, sluggard, you should be ashamed. Such a life the brain befuddles. This, of course, was merely banter, but it stirred the torpid blood of the turtle, and severely forth he issued from the mud. Done! he cried. The race began, but the hare resumed his banter, seeing how his rival ran in a most unlovely canter. Shouting, Terrapin, you're bested! You'd be wiser, dear old chap, if you sat down and rested when you reached the second lap. Quoth the turtle, I refuse, and as for you, with all your talking, sit on any lap you choose. I shall simply go on walking. Now this sporting proposition was upon its face absurd, yet the hare, with expedition, took the tortoise at his word, ran until the final lap, then, supposing he'd outclassed him, laid him down and took a nap, and the patient turtle passed him. Plodding on, he shortly made the line that marked the victor's goal, paused, and found he'd won, and laid the flattering unction to his soul. Then, in grandiose fashion, like an after-dinner speaker, touched his flipper to his nose, and remarked, Ahem, Eureka! And the moral, lest you miss one, is, there's often time to spare, and that races are, like this one, won not always by a hare. End of The Persevering Tortoise and the Pretentious Hare